Unlike other pieces of furniture, the bed and headboard are often the centerpiece of a bedroom and can easily make or break a room. However, a ready-made headboard alone can be really expensive without even considering the extra cost of buying two bedside tables. In this video, I'll go through a step-by-step -step guide on how I built my custom floating headboard without drilling any holes in the wall or prior knowledge of woodworking. First, let's start with the list of materials for the project. I personally used two of the 1.5 meters IKEA Linman tabletop as a headboard, but you can easily swap them with any timber or MDF sheets. Two IKEA Burks hold that I cut into two, or any wall shelf of your choice. Four IKEA Grand hold bracket to attach the shelves, and four pieces of 1.2 meter pine wood or any standard 2x4s, cut to size a few centimeters shorter than the headboard. You'll also need a pack of timber screws, a small bottle of hardware glue, one strip light for the finishing touch, and an optional of two IKEA Moslanda picture ledge, or a piece of wood to place some decor or artwork on top of the headboard. Apart from these materials, all you need is a standard cordless drill and screwdriver, and an assembled bed frame or base. In this case, I'm using the IKEA Malm bed frame. Before I continue, I wanted to briefly thank today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. If you'd like to learn more on how to design your own space, then I highly recommend the class Interior Decorate Like a Boss by Rose Sprinkle. In it, she goes through the fundamental of interior design and how to create a great space from start to finish. There's also an exclusive workbook that you can follow throughout the class. You can also take classes on photography and filmmaking, all the way to business and productivity. The best part about Skillshare is that it is curated specifically for learning. No ads, no distractions, and constant addition of new premium classes so you can just follow wherever your creativity takes you. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of premium membership. I started by taking three pine woods that have been cut to roughly 108 centimeters in order to allow a small gap behind the headboard for the light strip. Where possible, go in store and select your own timber to ensure better quality and free of knots. I attached them to the back of the bed frame by drilling a pilot hole near the top and bottom of the frame before attaching the screws. The holes will help the screw to get inside the bed frame seamlessly and avoid breaking the wood plank. Once the planks are up, I took measurements from the middle of the bed and marked a spot on the back of the headboard on where the nightstand will be. Since I'm using the IKEA Linman tabletops, it is important to note that the middle part are basically hollow cardboard that can't be drilled into or hold any weight. So, I simply had the fourth piece of pine wood cut into four and glued them to the back of the headboard. This will be where the screws for the nightstands are attached to. Make sure to leave some weight on top or clamp them for at least one hour to achieve a stronger bond. Then, continue the same steps for the other side of the headboard. While waiting for the glue to dry up, I added this IKEA Moslanda picture ledge, flipped it upside down, and attached it to the back corner of the headboard. I placed it just slightly under the top of the headboard in order to keep it out of sight. Once the headboard is ready, I applied some glue to the wooden planks and attach the headboard to the planks. The glue acts as extra support since I can only screw into the top and bottom of the board. Remember to drill a pilot hole in order to prevent cracking the wood. Next, I proceed with installing the nightstands. Drill a hole on the dots previously marked before attaching the wooden planks to the back of the headboard. Mine is pre-drilled as I'm reusing the materials. Make sure to get a screw that is a few millimeters longer than the headboard so that it goes all the way into the wooden planks. 
screw in one side of the bracket and attach the remaining parts after. If you're using the same IKEA Bruxel shelf, be aware that there are two face sides, one for a clean contemporary look and the other for a more classical look. You can also attach the nightstands to the headboard before installing it to the bed frame, but due to weight and space limitation, I opted to do it the other way around. Continue the same steps for the remaining nightstand and use a spirit level to make sure that they are straight. With the headboard completed, I added some ambient lighting with a Philips Hue light strip since I'm already invested in their ecosystem. You can also get a standard light strip without smart home functionality to save cost while getting the same look. Simply rest the strips on top of the wooden planks and run it around to get maximum light coverage. Then, I attached the power board to the side of the bed frame and ran the wires to the back of the headboard using a few of these command cable clips. This way, we can get easy access to the outlets while keeping the cables out of sight. The floating headboard gives the bedroom a light and airy feel while the ambient lighting lends a cozy feeling to the space. For storage, I simply used a bamboo organizer to store lip balm and supplements that I often take in the morning or before bed. It helps keep things tidy and still easily accessible from bed. The picture latch behind the corner of the headboard can be used to put plants, artwork, or decor objects to give the room a pop of color and some visual interest. The space underneath the nightstand can be utilized to store extra pillows or blankets with a simple textured basket. Finally, I added a wireless remote to be able to control the lights without having to get out of bed before sleep. They can also be controlled through our phone and through the Google Home Hub on our bedside table. That is a quick look and tutorial on how I built this custom floating headboard. Here is a quick recap on the materials and rough guidance on the cost. Everything shown in this video will be linked in the description below. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below and I'll try my best to answer them. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.